Hello and welcome to a new episode of Mobile Video Editing. In this episode, I'll show you how to create the spotlight text effect. Let's start with a clean timeline. Add a title to the main track. Go to Edit. Remove the text and add a rectangular shape. Change the color of the shape to a light tone of grey and resize it so it covers all the screen space available. By the end of the process, you'll change the color of this shape to white, but for now, a darker color will make it easier for you to see the cropping markers you will be using in later steps. Go back to the timeline. Change the duration of the title you just added to about 14 seconds. Now, place a new title in the track just above the main track. Set the duration of this new title to about 12 seconds and make sure it's placed within the boundaries of the title in the main track as shown. Edit the title you just added. For this tutorial, change the text to SPOTLIGHT in all caps. For better results, you'll need a bold font. I chose Avenir Next Heavy. Adjust the size of the text so there is some space to the left and right of it. You will see why this is important shortly. I'm using size 125. Set the face color of the text to a dark gray. Change the opacity of the face color to about 19%. For this tutorial, I'm using a white background, so the opacity setting won't help much. But one of the examples included in this upload includes a video background. Be sure to check it out to see how opacity comes into play. Make sure the edge color is set to black. Leave the opacity at 100% and set the width of the edge to 5. Set the shadow opacity to 0%, so no shadow is shown. Exit the editing mode and go back to the timeline. Clone the title you just edited. Place it in the top track, just above the title in the middle track, as shown in this video. Edit the title you just added. This clone title will keep most of the settings of its source, but with the following changes. Change the size of the text from 125 to 126. This will create a subtle bump when the text in this title is visible. Change the face color to white and the face color opacity to 100%. Increase the edge width to 7. Next, let's take a look at the shadow settings. Leave the default shadow color, which should be black. Change the shadow opacity to 83%. Set the shadow distance to 50 and the shadow blur to 55. Now go to the Frame and Fit tab and select the cropping function. You will now add some keyframes to animate the text being cropped. Start by setting the edge softness to 21 and the corner radius to 22. Set the starting point of the animation. Move the time slide so it is at the beginning of the clip as shown. Set the cropping area to the left of the text so it is a bit taller than the text high. Make sure it is well centered, aligned with the text, but doesn't cover any part of it. This is why earlier I mentioned that it was important to leave space to the left and right of the text. Manually add a keyframe. Now set the endpoint of the animation. 
the animation starts and ends at the same point, to the left of the first letter of the text. Set the time slide so it is at the end of the clip and manually add a keyframe. Now, set the middle of the animation just to the right of the last letter of the text. This will cause the animation to go from left to right and back to the left. Move the time slide so it is in the middle of the clip. Since the clip is about 12 seconds, this would be 6 seconds into the clip. Set the cropping area to be the same size as the two areas previously keyframed. Place the cropping area to the right of the text so it is a bit taller than the text height. Make sure it is well centered, aligned with the text, but doesn't cover any part of it. A keyframe will be automatically created. Go back to the timeline. Edit the title with a gray shape in the main track. Change the color of the shape to white. Exit back to the timeline and you're done. So this is how it looks. And here are some other examples. Now that you have the basics, you will be able to unleash your creativity and get different results and effects. So this is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like and click on the bell so you are informed when I post new videos. I wish you all happy holidays and I'll see you on the next one.